Hi everyone, so third video review today is my second arc from Ilva that I was reading this week, which was Language of Love, which was an anthology. If you want to check out my Goodreads review, if you're on Facebook, it's just underneath all the videos, further down the page, and if you're on YouTube, it's in the description below. Um, so the reading updates, I did them, um, for those of you that have known that I've done short stories before, I did it by story. So there's been a lot more reading updates going through the page this week because there were so many great stories in this book and each one I wanted to do its own little review of because each author who has taken part in building the anthology, um, you know, worked really hard on their short story and deserves to know what I thought of it individually rather than a collective. Um, so... If you're interested in what I thought of each individual story, go back through the reading updates, just check those out and it will give you sort of an insight into what I thought of the stories. But the video review, I'm going to do it sort of collective for you. So, um, like I say, Language of Love is a festive anthology by Ilva Publishing and um, it's it was an interesting take on festive stories because it was culturally diverse and had lots of different sort of angles in it, lots of different types of stories. So, um, I mean, I really... Um, I'm in complete awe, you know, of, of Ilva for putting this together. Um, it's unique and different when it comes to festive. It was a wonderful book, it made me feel very Christmassy on a Halloween week. Um, and I, I already now feel really festive, like I want to go, I've never wanted to, to be like this with Christmas, like it's like, it's November, but suddenly I want to put up a Christmas tree and I want to be doing all those wonderfully festive things because this book gave me a nice festive sort of season feel and I just feel all very warm and light-hearted after reading it which is beautiful um and the stories like I say they're all culturally diversal and different and they're all different in terms of their genre as well they're not a bunch of stories of people sitting around having a happy family Christmas there's a few in there like that and then there's lots of different ones where there's like things happening like accidents people working uh contract killer in one of them like it's it's amazing there's just a whole diverse range in there and it's covered for every continent like I really think of Christmas it's like this Christian festival no one else really takes part no one else really celebrates like I don't know why it's probably me just my bubble I am fully aware like I know how that sounds but I'm fully aware that lots of other cultures and everything else celebrate it but I think you get very lost in yourself at Christmas and you think oh this is what we do and this is what we do and we do and it's all very focused on what you do and your traditions and it was so wonderful to see a bunch of stories that were focusing on other cultural traditions or um how they celebrate the festive season because it is a season for some of us um around the world like we have different dates things happen differently uh, different cultures open presents different days they they do things differently like there was a story in australia you know they have dinner outside because it's nice and hot um when they have christmas um not like us in the uk you can imagine that christmas dinner outside can you be freezing um <laughs> well you never know with our weather it's all about over the pl over the top and out of there and whatever you might have a nice warm hot sunny christmas day here you never know um given this year's weather but it was just a nice nice little collection of stories got me very festive mood um great if you are going to be feeling in a festive mood um you had some great writers in there as well like you had lee winter um you had andrea brammel jodie claire was in there um i'm trying to think who else i've read this with this year that was in there um Cheyenne Blue, uh, I'll get there in a minute, there were loads, there were loads, and there was actually quite a few um, Ilva um, authors in there who I haven't ever read before, and I really enjoyed reading their work and finding out um, what their style is and how they write, and it was really great actually, really nice um, introduction to some of them and their work, and really has intrigued me into checking out more, so that's always a good thing, that's what, another reason why I love an anthology or a short story collection, because you've not only have you got some favourites in there who you've already read, but you, you are discovering some new people, and it's a great way to get people to start looking at new people um, and how they, you know, you know how they um, are perceived and how they you know how they write and how how whether whether it's your style and whether you like it or not um which is great as well like i say that was a fantastic thing for me to discover um some new people some new ilva um authors which i really look forward to discovering more of you know and finding out what else you've written and seeing if i can get an arc and seeing if i can give it a go um and just seeing what else fits your style i mean there's a great reason to get an anthology give yourself access to more authors and it gives exposure to authors, which is also really good. So it's a great book. Um, like I say, Ilva have done a great job at making it culturally diverse, putting something in there for everyone and making it really enjoyable. It definitely is one of those festive books that makes you want to grab a blanket, a tea, a coffee, a hot chocolate, glass of wine, whatever you fancy, curling up on the sofa, 
wishing it was snowing outside and just you know fire on telly on maybe you know some festive tune, like music playing in the background something and just have a nice little read um of some really heartwarming stories are really great um so i'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of language of love um and if you have read it please let me know what you thought of it uh if you're going to read it or if it's on your to read list again let me know and if you had a particular favorite story in it again i'd really love to know um some of the stories that you know they really captured the essence of christmas and spirit and happiness and some captured the spirit of kindness and they just they captured different elements that make the christmas season something that it is and it was just fantastic absolute brilliant little collection of short stories and i really really enjoyed it so if you grab a copy i hope you'll enjoy it too bye